Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the different parts of the Finder window. So the Finder window is probably something you use every day, but there are many different parts to it. And I find that a lot of Mac users may not know about one or more parts or how to use it or even how to switch it on and off. Now if we look at the top here, we've got the toolbar. The side, we've got the sidebar. In the bottom, we've got the status bar. Then in the middle is the area where it displays your files. Now I talk a lot about the toolbar in episode 276, but updating that for Lion, we now have stuff in the toolbar. Typical here is the views. You can view by icon, by list, by column, cover flow view. Uh, you've also got different tools here that can be used on the files that are selected. You've also got the ability to arrange your files here. And then you can add in your own customized one like I have one here from Dropbox. You can also drag anything else you want in here. So if there's a folder or file you use pretty often for instance you can simply drag it in and it will add it and provide quick access to it by just simply clicking on it. And then of course you have the search area over here to the right. Now on the left you've got the sidebar. Now in Lion the sidebar has got different sections than previous versions of Mac OS X. So it starts off with favorites and then you've got shared items, you've got devices, and you may have other things in here depending upon your settings. Now any of these you can expand and hide by simply rolling over the title, clicking on hide like that. So if you're sick of seeing say all of the shared items or perhaps all the different devices you can simply hide one of them. Now at the bottom you typically have a status bar which will show you things like the total amount of drive space you have available on the currently selected volume and how many items are in what you've currently selected. So one item in this home docs folder, uh, in my project folder is zero items, etc. Now you can turn any of these things on and off by going to the view menu and for instance you can hide the status bar at the bottom. That's actually default so you may not even know that it was there if you didn't know to go and show the status bar. You can also hide and show the sidebar like that and even hide the toolbar at the top. You can also show the path bar which appears at the bottom there. You can stack the path and status bar like that. So the, that shows the complete path to whatever it is you have selected all the way up to the hard drive level. Now customizing these can be done a lot of different ways. For instance to customize the toolbar you would go in the finder to view and then customize toolbar and it gives you all these options you can drag and drop. I covered that in episode 276. Customize the sidebar you could go to find your preferences and in there you've got sidebar items and you can turn on and off different things. So for instance if you always want to see a list of all your current movies you can turn that on and it will add it. If you always want to not have any of the shared items, for instance, you can turn those off and that whole section disappears. I covered the sidebar in a little more depth back in episode 230, by the way. Now to customize the entire thing, you may want to look into going into Finder Preferences. One thing you can do here under General is specify when new Finder windows are created what is shown exactly. So it goes directly to your Documents folder or All Files or your hard drive level. You can choose right there. In addition, you can go under View, Show View Options and you can customize a lot of different things about this particular window when it is using that folder that it's viewing right now. So there's a look at the basic Finder window and all the different parts of it and how you can turn them on and off and customize them. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.